हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बायजूज एग्जाम प्रेप एंड वेलकम टू दी कॉफी विद कॉन्सेप्ट सेशन विद मी नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग दैट इज वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द आइडिया अबाउट द वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक देन वॉट अबाउट द इफेक्टिव इंपिडेंस वी विल सॉल्व टू इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन दैट एंड फाइनली वॉट आर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक to stay tuned with me like the session and subscribe our channel okay then first of all this is my introduction myself sanjay rathi i am having around 22 years of teaching experience i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam these are my ranks and i have trained more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams now this is a session for electrical and electronics student gate 2024 summer special classes starting from 5th june and now you can utilize your summer with top faculties to get the top rank so very simple how many students want to get the top rank in gate 2024 if yes then this is the session for you okay for computer science engineering summer special classes starting from 5th june satya sir Vishal sir and Murli Krishna sir, and these are the topics for CSE branch. Now, space achievers for ISRO 2023. It is a golden opportunity for you. Now, if you want to get the idea about the expected question, then this is the series for you guys. Most expected questions starting from 5th June. Subscribe our channel now so that you will get the notification. And remember. every session is important for isro 2023 then we are going to take one important session for computer science engineering isro plus lilate 2023 most expected question starting from 12th june uh this is a new thing for you tricopedia let's trick it for electrical electronics and computer science branch for starting from 5th june and here we will give you the small tricks tips how to solve the questions quickly during exam and that's why this session this session is not very very important if you want to attend then subscribe our channel so that you will get idea about all these sessions now finally one scholarship test for gate exam get up to 90% off on our program on 4th june 12 pm register here for this test take a step towards success in a gate examination again this is a golden opportunity for you give the test series give the scholarship test get the idea about your strength get the idea about your weakness and avail 90% off on our program finally guys feedback topologies as you know there are four feedback topologies one is what voltage series feedback voltage shunt feedback current series feedback and what current shunt feedback now i am going to discuss voltage series feedback first of all what is the feedback so we are having one open loop amplifier and we are giving the feedback so that is the open loop amplifier here we are connecting the output we are passing the signal through the feedback net uh, network and we are mixing the signal here right and that is called amplifier with negative feedback why because we are we are connecting the negative terminal here so that is called negative feedback now what is the concept of feedback first of all we are sampling the signal at the output so there are two types of signal it may be voltage or it may be current so there are two types of sampler voltage sampler and what current sampler then we are passing the signal through the feedback network then finally we are mixing the signal at the input this mixer may be voltage mixer or what current mixer it is also called comparator or comparison voltage comparison or what current comparison okay and that's why we are having the four types of feedback we are sampling the voltage we are mixing the voltage we are sampling the current we are mixing the current we are sampling the current mixing the voltage we are sampling the voltage and we are mixing the current so there are four combinations and we are giving the name then first of all we are doing sampling and then we are mixing okay finally sampling i am talking about the voltage series feedback 
in case of voltage series feedback we are sampling the voltage the first word represent what we are sampling so we are sampling the voltage so always remember voltage is sample in what parallel that is the parallel connection at the output guys now then what is this diagram here this is the v naught and when we are sampling the voltage in parallel what is the voltage here v naught so before sampling what was the output voltage v naught after sampling what is the voltage across the feedback network v naught so this is a parallel connection so before sampling if this is the r naught and something connected in parallel always the output resistance decreases so remember when there is a voltage sampling it is a shunt sampling and because of this output resistance decreases then what is the mixing here in case of voltage series voltage is sampled now mixing that is called series connection so at the input side series connection here we are mixing the voltage now this voltage this is called feedback voltage will oppose the applied voltage so what will be the vi if there is no vf vi is vs but if there is a vf vi will become vs minus vf so here the vi is vs minus vf this vf will oppose the vs and that's why there is a negative feedback and that is a series connection because voltage will oppose the voltage in series not in parallel now if the before feedback the input resistance is ri to so after feedback the input resistance rif is greater than ri always remember when two networks are connected in series input resistance will increase okay finally voltage series feedback at the output we are sampling the voltage so what about the output resistance in decreases output resistance decreases at the input we are mixing the voltage and that's why vi will become vs minus vf and this is a series connection that's why input resistance increases okay now at the output this is voltage at the input this is voltage and that's why the basic amplifier is voltage amplifier basic amplifier is voltage amplifier output upon input that is voltage upon voltage amplifier is volt uh, voltage amplifier now this is a voltage amplifier it is a open loop we are not correcting any feedback this is called input resistance of the voltage amplifier without feedback this is called output resistance of the amplifier without feedback and this av internal this is called av or aol that is called open loop gain of the amplifier without feedback here we are connecting the rl that is the load that is the outside the amplifier here we are connecting the vs and rs that is outside the amplifier now for this amplifier ri that should be infinite why because this amplifier will amplify the signal across ri only that is the av into vi if the a ri is infinite the complete voltage vs will come across ri similarly once it is amplified we want the complete voltage will come across the rl so ideally r not should be equal to 0 ideal value of ri is infinite r not is 0 practically ri should be very very greater than rs and r not should be very very less than rl we want low output resistance and we want high input resistance in case of voltage amplifier now this is open loop operational voltage amplifier then when we are connecting so this is the ri greater than rs and so on so this is the open loop voltage amplifier now when we are connecting the feedback that is what voltage series connection so what about the input resistance increases already i have given you the idea what about the output resistance decreases okay and that is the advantage yes because we want low output resistance and high input resistance okay now try to solve this question an amplifier has an open loop gain of 100 an input impedance of 1 kilo ohm and output impedance of 100 ohm 
फीडबैक नेटवर्क विद फीडबैक फैक्टर ऑफ पॉइंट नाइन नाइन दैट इज बीटा इज कनेक्टेड टू द एम्पलीफायर इन वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक मोड इफ देर इज अर्ड वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक रिमेंबर आउटपुट रजिस्टेंस विल डिक्रीज इनपुट रजिस्टेंस विल इंक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द कनेक्शन द न्यू इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इंपिडेंस रिस्पेक्टिवली आर दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट रजिस्टेंस आर आज वॉट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन लुक गेन हंड्रेड दैट इज कॉल्ड ए ओ एल और ए डी दैट इज हंड्रेड इनपुट इंपिडेंस आर आई वन किलो ओम आउटपुट इंपिडेंस आर नॉट दैट इज हंड्रेड ओम बीटा फैक्टर नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक वॉट इज अव रेजिस्टेंस रिमेम्बर आर आई एफ इज गिवन बाय आर आई विदाउट फीडबैक वन प्लस बीटा ए वी Now you can use R I. What is the R I? One kilo ohm, one plus zero point nine nine into hundred, and that will become ninety nine plus one hundred kilo ohm. Second R O F decreases R not upon one plus beta A V divided by beta one plus beta A V. What is the R not hundred Upon already we have calculated this is hundred. It will become one ohm only. Very very low output resistance and very high input resistance because of voltage series feedback. And it is required. And that's why we can say it is the advantage of this feedback. Okay. Now, if gain is asked, always use this formula. V not by V S that is given by open loop gain upon one plus beta A V. Open loop gain upon one plus beta A B. Now second question. So what is the answer for this one? Hundred kilo ohm and one ohm. This is the answer. D is the correct answer for this particular question. Second one. Voltage series feedback. It is also called series shunt feedback. Now one thing remember. When we are using the voltage series feedback, the voltage word represent at the output. we are sampling at the output voltage we are sampling series means at the input side we are mixing the signal but in this name we are using input first then output input and then output so what is the connection at the input side series series connection means voltage mixing and what is the connection at the output side shunt series shunt feedback means voltage series feedback remember if the input is the series connection means input resistance increases at the output shunt connection means output resistance decreases to so increase in the input resistance decrease in the output impedance that is the c is the answer direct you can see so in this name remember first we are using the input connection then we are giving the output connection or here output first input second input second then what voltage series feedback definitely you will ask what is the practical uses of this voltage series feedback so we have different types of circuit right where we are using this voltage series feedback so what are the best practical examples emitter follower that is called common collector configuration source follower that is called common drain configuration and voltage follower that is non inverting operational amplifier So these are the diagram. This is called emitter follower, common collector. We are getting the output from emitter. We are giving input to the base. Second diagram, common drain. We are giving input to the gate terminal. We are getting output from the source. That is the example of voltage series feedback. This is a voltage follower. It is also an example of what voltage series feedback. finally non inverting operational amplifier it is also example of voltage series feedback now how many students want the detailed about these four diagram how we can prove that it is a voltage series feedback if you want then give me the comments in comments box so that i will take another session on all four examples okay then you are on byju's exam prep please like the session share the link of this session and subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this session thank you